Family friends, come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And we would like to welcome you to come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center Sunday morning words of encouragement. Saints, we're believing God with you. We're praying with you. We covet your prayers. Saints, it's, it's, we have to start praying and believing God one for another. We must. There's things happening in, in, in your life that, uh, and you're asking what is going on. You know, what, what, is, what is this all about? And, and the truth of the matter is, it's about us. God has fulfilled his word in our life. We must uh, fulfill and act on what God has said. See, it's more to do with us than with God. There's things going on, and, and it takes, it's going to take us uh, praying one for another, praying together, believing God uh, together. We have to get rid of this. You know, when, when, when we're not doing when, when we're not uh, living the life of faith, we're hurting ourselves. We're hurting ourselves. And when we don't pray, you know, um, we're really not opening, opening up the door for God to communicate with us like he desires. Yes, we need to pray. Yes, we need to read the word. Yes, we need to obey the word. Yes, we need to, we need to re remem remember that we are one body. So you, you don't have to know somebody's name to pray for them. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray one for another. You need, to de you need to find your room and occupy that room with your prayers and your communication to God, with God. You need a place of prayer. A place where, where you come in contact with the anointing. You need it. And, and, and it's your place of prayer. The Lord God is waiting for you. Our Heavenly Father is waiting for you. Saints of the Most High God, spend time with God and put your entire existence in God's hands. Whatever it is, it's time to go, Lord Jesus, I place it in your hands. Lord Jesus, I place it in your hands. Meet and let God take over. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's wanting. He's desiring to take over your entire life. Your entire life. You know, not just what you want to give to him and you want to keep. God's not going to bargain with you. But God is all or nothing.
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. For all of us our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. We place our entire existence in your hands, Lord Jesus. And we pray, Lord Jesus, your will be done. Your will be done. And we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your great faithfulness to us. Amen. Saints, if you would, go with me to Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. It's time we realize that we are healed, healthy, strong, restored, and made whole, and nothing can, can, can stand against God's will for us. And we will not be deceived. We will not be deceived. Luke chapter 6, verse 18 and 19. The Bible says this. Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place. And there was a large crowd of his disciples and a great throng of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, in the coastal region of Tyre and, and Sidon, Sidon. Excuse me. We have come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who are troubled with unclean spirits were being cured. Now all the people were trying to touch him for power was coming from him. Get this and healing them all. The power is still coming forth from the Lord Jesus Christ and healing us all. Healing us all. But I want you to notice something in verse 18. See, you have to hear Jesus. You, you, you can't get away with just uh, listening to Jesus. See, to, to listen to Jesus is to have something go in one ear and out the other. You, 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 what he says never takes root in your heart. See, because when you hear, the heart is impacted. And when the heart is impacted, the entire man is impacted. So, it's, you know, he didn't say, the, uh, the Bible did not say who had come to listen to him. Because a lot of times, when you listen, you got something to say afterwards. You got to get out what you want out. You have to get out what you have to say. Well, when you do that, you're not hearing. You're not hearing. Because when you're hearing, you, 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 you stop and realize what you've heard has altered your life. Has altered your life. This is what hearing does. You see, um, because when, when you start hearing, let me tell you something. It will fill your heart. And that which fills the heart will overflow from you. So the next time you, you're, you're speaking, listen to yourself and listen to see what's coming from, from what is coming from you is that which Jesus has placed in you. See, 
instead of quoting books and so forth, you'll be quoting Jesus Christ. See, I mean, you quote Jesus Christ, you're releasing faith. You're releasing, you're releasing life. So, and that does not mean that you're not going to go through something. But what it will do is destroy the works of every enemy. You, 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 you cannot be uh, releasing from your heart what the enemy says. See, that's compromise. That's unclean. That's not God. And so many of us as saints, the pressure is on us so much. And sometimes the, the, the battle rages uh, uh, so heatedly. We, we, we sometimes allow things to come forth from us that is an enemy to us. Because we know that, you know, our words set the course of our life. So we must, we must understand that the things that come forth from us is that which fills our heart. So I, I, you know, here in Luke uh, 6.18, the Bible says, who had come to hear him, to hear him. Notice it did not say, come to hear them. You need to open your Bible. Listen, let me tell you something. I know that some people have their favorite author. But the author of the Bible is the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, and, and I'm telling you, no matter how well-meaning your favorite author is, it's just a commentary on the Bible, an opinion on the Bible. There is no teacher like Jesus Christ. Amen. There is no teacher like the Holy Spirit. And some of us have not opened our Bible for a long time, but we will go out and purchase the opinion of man. Purchase a commentary on the Bible instead of realizing well that might be good. I'm not saying that it's not. Well that might be encouraging. I'm not saying that it's not. What I am telling you is that it's not Jesus Christ. Amen. It's not the Holy Spirit. It's not our Heavenly Father. It cannot possibly be. And so, while some authors will tell you that the Bible is in their book, I'm telling you the Bible is the book. Amen. It lives. It lives. And we need to get uh, a firm grip on communicating with God his way. And there's no way we're going to communicate with God his way apart from his spirit, apart from his life. We must understand that the words of the Bible are spirit. They're just not words on a book and the words from the Bible live. Amen. 
they are, they are inspired by the Holy Spirit. You need, we all need to hear. I mean, this is just really, really, really good, you know, in, 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 uh, instruction in holiness. We need to come to hear him, the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we need to come to the word to hear the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just telling you, you know, in, in the words of Jesus Christ, okay, there is healing. We don't need somebody to lay hands on us, and it's okay to have somebody lay hands on you. Take your medicine. It's okay to take your medicine and all that kind of stuff. See your doctor. It's okay to see your doctor. That has nothing to do with faith. That's not, Jesus is not mad at you or mad with you because you go see your doctor. You do know Jesus had a physician. His name was Luke. So Jesus was not opposed to the medical profession. You know, Jesus had a, a, a tremendous physician. His name was Luke. But Jesus being the word, Jesus healed the physician. And a good one. You obey the word, you too will get your physician healed. So notice they came to they 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 came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. To be healed. So you the, the word of God is greater than your disease. The word of God is greater than anything that's going on in your body. The word of God is greater than any missing pieces or limbs or digits or, or anything else. The word of God is greater, far superior. It behooves us to listen to God and let the and, and realize how greatly the words of the Lord Jesus Christ lives in us and abides in us and cleanses us completely and thoroughly, removing from us every spot, wrinkle, blemish, or stain. The, 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 you know, we need to realize that, uh, uh, that our faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth gives us perfect health. Excellent health in the presence of all, and that Jesus Christ is glorified in us. And so don't be, you know, you, and, and, and like I said, you know, I know that some of you are going through some tough times and some serious testing. Put it all in God's hands. You know, just every time you pray, Lord, I cast my cares on you because I know you care for me. Amen. You know, put it in God's hands, whatever it might be, and keep it in God's hands. And sometimes, you know, this is, uh, uh, you're going to have to continuously do this. Put it in God's hands. Jesus Christ perfects us. See, we are complete in, in Christ Jesus. We are perfect in him. We are mature in him. And don't listen to people 
trying to tell you something different. There is no if or ands or buts or anything else about it. You are perfect in Christ Jesus. Complete in Christ Jesus. Mature in Christ Jesus. Everything. Everything. Because saints, we must remember this. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We, 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 and when we walk by faith, we'll even get our sight right. That's how good he is. Amen? Amen. Look, saints uh, of the Most High God, we wouldn't have to stop there. Amen? James 4, 6 through 7 says, but he gives greater grace. Therefore, it says, God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You. Flee. Science. Read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. One more time, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. And the word will manifest in your life. Saints, you must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our body, our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. Again, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. One more time. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. Saints of the Most High God, if we practice these, we will never stumble. Ever. Ever. Saints of the Most High God, be sure to listen to our next Rivers of Life Christian Center words of encouragement set a reminder that you may not miss the next Rivers of Life Christian Center words of encouragement and tell others to join in also tell others to join in also saints there are some who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, if that's you, please pray this prayer with me. For Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Amen. There, there are some of, some of us in the body of Christ. And listen, let me tell you something. Let's pray for these people. Let's pray for these people that they return to the Lord. That they return to the Lord. Let's not judge these people. Let's pray that these people return to the Lord. All of them. See, because there is some who live a life of willful disobedience. If, and if that's you, you need to repent. The love of God is calling you. Answer. Please pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I turn from my sin. Lord Jesus, I turn to you. Lord Jesus, confess my sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are faithful and righteous. 
to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Amen. Subscri subscribe to our YouTube channel at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel and invite others to subscribe also. God is looking for willing vessels. God is looking for you and me. Our goal is to win a million souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's just the beginning. Listen to our podcast at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. New podcasts are Sunday and Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on X. Follow us on Rumble at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Come to Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940. Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Good news is revealed at Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer should be in a church where Jesus Christ is exalted, where the Holy Spirit is in manifestation, where the Word of God is ministered in power and without compromise. Every believer should be in a church like Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer includes you. Saints, it is time to come to church. Service times, Sunday 10 a.m., Wednesday online until further notice. Explore our website. Our website is riversoflifecc.com. We encourage every believer to pray at a minimum one hour per day. Go to our prayer page and fast with us every month. Every month. Send us your prayer request. Matthew 18, 19 and 20, Jesus said, Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. For where two or three have gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst. Let's join our faith together to meet your need. Let's agree together for signs, wonders, miracles, healings, confirmation of the word, great manifestations of the Holy Spirit in your life. Saints, we thank you for your bountiful, uh, gracious giving. We are so thankful. We are so grateful. Go to riversoflifecc.com slash donate. We thank you for any amount that you put forth to help push the ministry forth and exalt the name of Jesus Christ. We pray the fullness of God's grace abound towards you. In Jesus' name. Saints, it is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Saints, obey God and walk in the fullness of the blessing. Saints of the Most High God, I have good news for you. Grab hold of this with all of your heart and all of your faith. Something good is going to happen to you this very hour, this very day, 
Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching today's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.